Good morning. Welcome to 51st day of 2022, Sunday. Let's worship the Lord today. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We worship you, praise you every morning. Let that be our lifetime commitment. Let psalms, let praise uh, from our heart be lifted up to you each morning, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise you. Give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Well, Daily Gospel, brothers and sisters, this is the 518th day, and we're going strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I was meditating on Psalm 73 this morning, and I decided, well, let this be the message for us today. I will pick it up from 1 Corinthians tomorrow, but this is what Psalm 73, the Psalm Asa. Truly, God is good to Israel, to such as are the pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the boastful when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. <laughs> Why does wicked people, crazy people, who does not live by God's command, prosper so much. Why does these godless people accumulate $250 billion, $360 billion? I don't understand, Lord. Gosh, can you imagine what we can do for kingdom work with that kind of wealth? So, the Asaph, Asaph, is crying out to God, saying that God is not it's messed up. It's not fair. Well, what about you this morning? I woke up this morning thinking, wow, what a beautiful day. <laughs> uh, what a beautiful day. Pretty soon in a few hours, not a few hours, uh, this morning, after this, around 11 o'clock today, I have to go to Cambodia Presbyterian Theological Institute and do a four-hour lecture. So I got so excited preparing lecture and, and they reminded me of how King David each morning wakes up the morning with praise. Psalm chapter five, verse three, or let me read from one. This is, you know, King David wrote a lot of Psalms, 73. He wrote 73 psalms out of 150, so close to 50. And he starts out Psalm 2, Psalm 3, as he was running away from Absalom, and, and Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I'll pray, my voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. For you are not God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. Pretty much saying what the other guy was saying. But from the more, I would say more positive, more embracing. I just realized I didn't turn on the light. I was wondering why it was so dark. Okay. So, you know, each morning as we get up, do we have this kind of attitude? Worshiping, thanking God. Or are you, do you fret over the evil ones doing well in life? You, he's saying the same thing, that Lord, you hate all the workers of iniquity. And so he, he does not condone with the evil that is done in the world. At the same time, uh, he does not make that into issue. It does not rob him from giving God thanks each morning. That's the point. You know, as, 
as we read Book of Psalms each morning, I think, you know, you should do that also. Whether you read Old Testament or New Testament, <laughs> try to read a couple chapters of Psalms each day. There's 150 of them. Uh, and just build on it, build on it. And then pretty soon that your heart will be filled with attitude of gratitude. And that's how you want to start the day. Or, or write out in your journal uh, things that you're thankful for, for the yesterday. As you begin a brand new day, thank you, Lord, uh, for this, for that, you know. And this morning for me, thank you, Jesus, that Jenny is sick with COVID and she lost her sense of smell and taste, but she's eating well, as I wrote. And she still has a lot of things that she wants to eat. Um, I'll tell you a funny story. I heard through a radio talk. It's this old grandma and old grandpa live together and he's losing kind of memory short-term memory. And he said, while wow, they're watching TV, honey, I'm gonna go get some vanilla ice cream. The wife goes, why don't you put some cherry and some chocolate syrup on the top? He said, okay. And then she says, honey, write it down because you always forget. I said, don't worry. It's just vanilla cream with cherry and chocolate, chocolate syrup on the top. I got this. And then goes to refrigerator but comes back 20 minutes later with <laughs> egg and bacon. <laughs> egg and bacon. And she looks at him with this total amazement and she said, but where's my toast? Where's my toast? I told that joke to my wife and we were having a great laugh while we're walking because we're, we, we're becoming very forgetful. Well, yesterday, for us, uh, well, because this is being pre-recorded. Yesterday was Valentine. And I felt really bad that Jenny couldn't get out, go to restaurant. So I said, Jenny, uh, let me go and get you some flour and chocolate. So, you know, because I tested negative. Uh, she said, well, okay, well, why are you at it? Why don't you buy some of this like banana? So she gave me a short list of just a few things to pick up from the grocery. I said, no problem. So I go there and while I'm shopping, because she wanted to eat pizza too. So I order pizza and then while pizza is being done, I rush to grocery and pick up a few things. And then I lost that little list. I don't know where I is. I guess it just flew up. So I got the grocery, got the pizza. I came home, opened the pizza and we're eating the pizza. And as soon as I try to bite into the first piece, I said, oh my God. And she's like, what happened? What happened? I, said, I forgot about the chocolate and flour. I mean, that's the primary reason why I went there. Anyways, I thought it was hilarious. So maybe you two are getting forgetful each morning, but let's just not forget each morning to wake up and start the day with Thanksgiving. You know, don't start the day with complaining or give God a shopping list of what you want that day. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was traveling with Yonggi Cho, and I actually saw him pray three hours a day, morning, one hour, afternoon, one hour, dinner. I'm like, sir, how do you do that? I mean, do you have that many prayer requests? He said, no, son. He said, 80 to 90% of all my prayer is just praise. Wow. Wow. That's what um, that's what King David does also in his life. If you read Psalm 25, 1 through 2, it's one out of 79 Psalm the Hero. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed. Let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those ashamed who deal treacherous without cause. He said, Lord, I lift up my soul in praise. Hallelujah. You know, this, although it's, uh, King David did not write, the book of Psalm ends with this. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him. 
his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the lute and the harp, praise him with the timbre, trimble and dance, praise him with string instrument and flutes, praise him with loud cymbals, praise him with cl clashing cymbals, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's how it ends, right? So Bible is reminding us, or the psalm, psalmists are reminding us that, man, let's turn everything every day with praise. You praise him. So don't forget today. I need to start this day with praise, regardless of your current situation. Um, I just cut up a mango this morning and the fragrance, and it was just so marvelous. You know, the thing, the best thing about living in Cambodia is that these kind of tropical fruits are so reasonable. And, and matter of fact, right next to our house, now they have a kind of a store that directly bring it from the countryside that they are probably relatives at, like uh, durian and jackfruit. And we, we got this uh, carrot jackfruit. Jackfruit is usually yellow, but this carrot jackfruit is like a carrot color. I mean, so sweet. And so we bought a mango there and I was just chopping it up in the morning after breakfast with almost hour walk and then just chopped up some mango and fragrance was so incredible. And Jenny goes, I cannot smell anything, so it doesn't taste right. And she was like, oh my. You know, sometimes we have to lose it to appreciate what we have. This just common, a simple thing like smell and taste. I said, Jenny, well, thank God that you were able to smell you know, all these years and soon to pass, you know, of course it will pass then. And you begin to not, I mean, thank God for small things like mango smelling like mango, right? Like me, I couldn't smell my coffee. So he was like drinking hot water, like, oh, sheesh, you know? And now I'm like enjoying every morning, right? Coffee and just thanking God for small things. It doesn't have to be like he got, you know, you won a lottery, right? To be able to thank God each morning. No, you don't have to want to win a lottery. So that's fresh air, the coffee, the smell, the aroma, the taste, and just like God, praise you, Lord. I praise you. I thank you. Let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let that be your day. And as the word of the Lord says <clears throat> in 103, Psalm 103, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your disease, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with love and kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like eagles. Whew, getting choked up. God's been faithful all our lives. Let's, well, whatever left over that life that I had, I want my life to have this attitude. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all my sick sickness and disease, who redeems my life from destruction, who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies my mouth with good things so that my Youth is renewed like eagles. Let your youth, your life be renewed each day in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Mwah.